Now, not too far from Capitol Hill, there's a new traveling exhibit at Washington's National Museum of African Art. It features the African water goddess known as Mamiwata. VOA's Carolyn Turner tells us about it. The exhibit brings together traditional and contemporary art from Africa, the Caribbean, Brazil, and the United States. It presents a historical overview of Mamiwata as a mermaid, or a snake charmer, or a combination of both. Guest curator Henry John Jewell is a professor of art history and Afro-American studies at the University of Wisconsin. She is a global presence, and she is about the sacredness of water. Diverse African cultures have long valued the power of water, and the mythology surrounding it has spawned spiritual and artistic expression. Mami Wata's persona dates back some 500 years to the slave trade and the spread of African beliefs to other parts of the world. She's mainly revered for the good fortune she brings, but Jewel says she's also known for her destructive potential. Well, like water, she is changeable. She has her positive, uh, calming, protective dimensions, but she can also be turbulent, she can be dangerous. The curator says some religions even consider her to be evil. There are people who have a negative attitude and impression of her, where her dangerous and seductive side is emphasized uh, because her image has been the image of a mermaid, and, and mermaids have those, uh, those dangerous aspects to them as well. And so there are some who fear her. Drool says European sailors first introduced mermaids to Africa. And as the mermaids evolved in the African culture, they became a symbol of the African deity. And this is a dramatic, dramatic piece in which she brings together the la sirene, the siren elements of Haitian art with Mamiwata as snake charmer, controlling powerfully those snakes. And she has this crown on her head because she is the sovereign of the seas. The Mamiwata exhibit is on loan from the Fowler Museum in Los Angeles. It will be at the National Museum of African Art in Washington through July 26th. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.